Last time, I fished the Animus. I had some really good luck on a fly called the GTI Caddis. So I decided to go home and tie up a few. I did really enjoy tying these, so I thought I would show you guys the recipe. So the hook I am using is the TMC2487 in size 14, and I put a 3mm tungsten bead on it. Also I made 7 wraps with .015 size lead wire, and shoved it up into the bead head. The thread I am using is Vivis 14 knot in olive. Start your thread just behind the lead wrap, then smooth out the lead wrap by tying over it a few times. Now attach some peacock curl right behind the lead wrap. If you tie it in tightly enough, you can just break it off clean. Next, we will tie in some crystal flash and a bit of nylon tippet. In this case, I'm using 6X. Wrap everything down to the sharp end of the hook, and make sure they are all on top of the hook as you do so. Now we will make a small dubbing noodle with some light olive color hairline dubbing. Try to make a taper up the hook shank with the dubbing. If you need to add more, then do so. And tie it in so it fills out the hook, all the way up to just shy of the bead. Then I like to pull out the guard hairs that stick out. Next we will dub in some starburst dubbing in olive to create a dark collar on the fly. Take the crystal flash and rib the fly evenly. Then capture the flash when you reach the head of the fly and snip off the waist. The fly originally calls for scud back in the summer duck color, however I'm using this brown baby back by Fly Tires Dungeon. Just tie it in right behind the bead with a little slack in the front. Once that is tied in, then pull the rest back, and also start a half wrap with the tippet. Now pull back the bug back tightly, and make a wrap of the tippet over where the crystal flash wrap is. Adjust the bug back so it sits on top of the fly evenly if need be. Then continue wrapping the tippet up the hook over each wrap of the flash until you reach the head of the fly. And then capture it and snip the waist. Pull back the tag of the bug back and make a few wraps in front of it. Then pull it tightly and snip the waist. And pull the back tightly as well and snip that off with a little bit sticking out. Then snip the peacock curl tail short as well. Take a bit more of the starburst dubbing and dub a bit more collar on the fly. Then whip finish your fly. Your fly is now finished. However, I like adding a bit of this bone dry UV curing resin to keep the fly more durable. Just put on a bit with your bodkin and cure it with your UV light. The fibers on the starburst dubbing are a bit long, and I find that the fly will look better with a bit of trimming. The fly originally calls for a different dubbing, however I didn't have it, and I like the idea of the flashy starburst dubbing. Well that is the GTI Caddis. I hope you guys liked it. Here you can see my version versus the original I bought at the fly shop. Check the description section for a list of materials I used on this fly. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.